Question 1. If both the weight and speed of a vehicle are doubled, how much more braking force is needed? A. 8 times. B. 4 times. C. Twice. D. 3 times. The answer is A. 8 times. Question 2. What factors contribute to an increase in air brake lag? A. The age of the compressor. B. The length of the trailer. C. The type of air being compressed. D. How hard you press the brake pedal. The answer is B. The length of the trailer. Question 3. What must be completed before proceeding to the next phase or requirement? Following a completed classroom session. A. Doing the written test. B. Having a job in the trucking industry. C. The practical training sessions. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Having a job in the trucking industry. Question 4. Which of the following is not considered a skill objective for the practical training session? A. Know how to adjust a Q-cam correctly. B. Know how to adjust an S-cam drum brake. C. Determine if the air brakes are correctly adjusted on S-cam foundation brakes. D. Perform an effective pre-trip inspection that ensures proper air brake system operation before putting a vehicle into service. The answer is A. Know how to adjust a Q-cam correctly. Question 5. How much more braking power is required when the weight of a vehicle is doubled? A. No changes. B. Twice as much. C. Three times as much. D. Four times as much. The answer is B. Twice as much. Question 6. What occurs to the heat within the brakes during operation? A. It stays within the brakes. B. The tires absorbs the heat. C. It's dissipated into the atmosphere by the brake drums or disc rotors. D. It stays within the brakes. The answer is C. It's dissipated into the atmosphere by the brake drums or disc rotors.
Question 7. Why do hydraulic brakes engage immediately while air brakes may have a delay? A. There's more fluid than air. B. Hydraulic brake lines are wider. C. Hydraulic brake fluid is always in the lines, so hydraulic brakes apply immediately. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Hydraulic brake fluid is always in the lines, so hydraulic brakes apply immediately. Question 8. Under what conditions can you request a registry agent to apply for an endorsement or license upgrade? A. After successful completion of the written test. B. After completing the theory portion of the program. C. After registering for the Alberta Air Brake Program. D. After completing the practical portion of the Alberta Air Brake Program. The answer is A. After successful completion of the written test. Question 10. What is the objective of the practical test? A. To evaluate the course material. B. To test if the trainer has done their job. C. To evaluate students' proficiency at completing the tasks practiced in the practical training session. D. None of the above. The answer is C. To evaluate students' proficiency at completing the tasks practiced in the practical training session. Question 12. What is the passing mark for the air brake knowledge test? A. 81%. B. 85%. C. 83%. D. 80%. The answer is C. 83%. Question 13. What factors can lead to brake failure? A. Poor driving skills. B. No pre-trip inspections. C. Bad road conditions. D. When more heat is absorbed by the drums or rotors than can be dissipated. The answer is D. When more heat is absorbed by the drums or rotors than can be dissipated. Question 14. Who administers the air brake knowledge test? A. A registry agent. B. Alberta Transportation. C. National Safety Code. D. Transport Canada. The answer is A. A registry agent.
Question 15. What additional factors can influence the flow of air pressure in an air brake system? A. The size of the compressor. B. Airline layout and types of fittings. C. The size of the air tanks. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Airline layout and types of fittings. Question 16. How frequently should each student conduct an air brake system pre-trip inspection during the course? A. Twice. B. Once. C. Three times. D. As often as possible. The answer is A. Twice. Question 18. What is meant by air brake lag? A. The time between perceiving the problem and touching the brake pedal. B. The time it takes the air pressure to pass through the hoses to the brakes. C. The time between perceiving the problem before the vehicle stops. D. The time moving from the accelerator to the brake. The answer is B. The time it takes the air pressure to pass through the hoses to the brakes. Question 19. When the speed of a vehicle is doubled, how much more braking force is needed? A. Four times as much. B. Three times as much. C. Two times as much. D. One times as much. The answer is A. Four times as much. Question 20. What form of energy do brakes transform from the energy of momentum? A. The ability to stop. B. The energy of force. C. The energy of heat. D. Gravity. The answer is C. The energy of heat. Question 22. What is the purpose of air dryers in an air brake system? A. It dries the air. B. Push the air through the air hoses. C. Sends information to the dashboard gauges. D. Removes contamination from the air pressure being delivered by the air compressor. The answer is D. Removes contamination from the air pressure being delivered by the air compressor.
Question 23. Which type of braking system generates more braking power? A. Mechanical brakes. B. They're all the same. C. Air brakes. D. Idolique Bach. The answer is C. Air brakes. Question 24. Where can you find drain valves in a vehicle's braking system? A. At the top right of the air pressure tank. B. Under all air pressure tanks. C. On the top of air pressure tanks. D. At the top left of air pressure tanks. The answer is B. Under all air pressure tanks. Question 25. At 1200 RPM, how much time is needed for the compressor to increase the air pressure from 50 to 90 PSI? A. 15 minutes. B. 10 minutes. C. 3 minutes. D. 5 minutes. The answer is C. 3 minutes. Question 26. What methods are used to monitor air pressure in a vehicle's braking system? A. You have to manually check the tanks. B. Testing the brakes on occasion. C. Gauges on the dashboard. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Gauges on the dashboard. Question 27. Who is responsible for ensuring that the air brakes are functioning correctly? A. The employer. B. The driver. C. The maintenance team. D. The industry inspector. The answer is B. The driver. Question 28. What is the term kilopascal, KPA, measure, as used by an original equipment manufacturer, OEM? A. Air pressure. B. Trailer weight. C. Vehicle weight. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Trailer weight.
Question 29. In which location is the driver situated when control and quick release valves release air with force? A. Under the hood. B. Outside the vehicle. C. Doing routine maintenance. D. Inside the cab. The answer is D. Inside the cab. Question 30. What is the function of the supply circuit in a braking system? A. Adjust the tire pressure. B. Provides information for the employer to use for training. C. Compresses and cleans the air, maintains consistent air pressure. D. None of the above. The answer is C. Compresses and cleans the air, maintains consistent air pressure.